Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Chuck here, KK6USY for Ham Radio Adventures. Today, we're gonna check out Top Solar to explore more. Stick with me. Okay guys, so uh, I know I just did a solar thing. This one's made to actually fit inside a backpack. Um, as you can see, the size is pretty much, oh, she'd like a, a, a tenth of the size. The other one was about two foot by two foot closed up, and this is about 10 inches. Well, about, okay, about a quarter of the size. If you don't take everything with you, just the solar panel and the, the bag, that it comes in, it's about 4.8 pounds. So just under five pounds. If you take everything, it's a little over five pounds. So let's, uh, let's open this thing up, see what it comes with. And later on, I'll do a test on it. I'll compare it actually. I ordered a new power controller or solar controller, and I will test this with that one against my Dokio. Uh, the Dokio is uh, 80 watts. This is 60 watts. So. 20 watts less, but I think with the other power controller, it may actually equal the Dokio. So let me change the camera angle here for you, and we're gonna put this thing down on my table. Okay, maybe I should leave that out. All right, it comes with this nice case. Um, I'll have to put a price of it down in the thing, and also in the uh, description, I'll put a link to it. From Amazon that's where I got it at so it says top solar to explore more it came with a nice little case it's got double zippers it's all padded this is the actual solar panel so it's actually smaller than the bag even a little bit okay came with a bunch of accessories and unfortunately I thought I had the instruction booklet with me but I don't so I'll have to do some of this at home um, Comes with a couple carabiners to hang it. This is one of the connectors. I'll show you the connectors a little in, in a minute here. I made this one so I can hook it to the controller that I already have. So basically this plugs into here. And then this plugs into the controller. It has a smaller type controller. Some of these are made to actually put into uh, solar power stations. Um, like a Jackery or something like that. Only thing with, with uh, Jackery sometimes is propri proprietary, so that's that's not a great thing always. Then on the back side, it's got another zippered area enclosure. Back here, it comes with kind of the things that most come with. You know, here's a setup. This goes into a. Uh, this is to charge your car with through the battery or through the cigarette lighter or PowerPoint. And then you can hook this to the battery, do the same thing. Comes with a bunch of adapters um, to adapt almost anything, USB, all kinds of different sizes, so ring, ring ones. I don't really know what this one's for. It's got this screw on thing. It's got a two pin. Uh, it's to charge something. Obviously it fits something that like one of those solar power, solar uh, stations. And then it has, what's really cool about this too, is it comes with this and this will hook into most other solar systems. Um, these are very common connectors. They just connect like that. Well, into another set. So it, it's, it can be chained. You can daisy chain this one also, if you have two of them, to get more power out. And the last thing it came with, and this is probably, if I was going backpacking, probably what I wouldn't take. These are little stands for it. Um, basically they unfold and so you can angle it towards the sun. So pretty complete little package. These, these are a good amount of weight right here though, if you're gonna backpack. If you're uh, car camping, hey, take them with you. 
I, I think for backpacking I can uh, probably find a, uh, a rock or, or a tree stump or something like that that I can hook it up to. I think for today this is all we're going to do because there's no sun. I'm in a great little camping area here and uh, not much sun down here to check this out, but I'll do that at home. And basically it just unfolds like an accordion style. I've already got it dirty. Um, and then it unfolds again. And there's all your panels. So it's pretty small package even when it's all out. Um, I, did, I did hook this up at home and it's really, really close with the stock uh, Dokio power or solar controller. It's within a volt or so and within a, a couple, a point couple, point two amps or something like that. Maybe, uh, maybe an amp less. But uh, we'll try it with the new one when I get it. Uh, I get it. Actually, I'm, I'm on a trip right now. Um, I should have it when I get back. So that's what it looks like, guys. It's got the little uh, things to hold the carabiners because you could. And then, actually, at this end here. It has this, and it says to have this towards the, towards the sun, and it's got little lights right here. Let me see if I can get that closer for you guys. Let me uh, close this down a little bit. Let me zoom in on that. It's kind of hard to see, but if you look in here, there's little lights right here. And the better you have it aimed at the, uh, the sun, the more lights you get. And then all the connectors are in here. You have a 14.4 DC, a USB-C, USB-A, and a 19 volt DC. This is the one you hook to the charge controller. This one is good for uh, lead acid batteries. Uh, for some reason it says not lithiums, but I think the reason for that is it's, it's not a high enough voltage to actually charge a lithium battery. They need a little bit higher voltage. I'm not sure about that, but it's, it's in, uh, it's converted Chinese to English and it's pretty good in the book, but it's, there's a few things that aren't quite, you know, I can't quite figure out what they're talking about, but I think that's what's, what the deal is. And it has a little cover that covers it up. All right, guys. I'll, uh, the next part of this, I'll probably be at home. I'll test this thing out in some sun, and we will uh, see how it does. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it's a, it seems like a pretty nice little uh, solar panel that you could probably throw in the backpack. I may have gone a little bit too big. Probably should have stayed somewhere around the um, 30 or 40 watts, maybe. Could keep it a little bit lighter, but I'd rather improve my battery status versus just keep up if I can do that. And I, I think it may go on a backpacking trip here pretty soon, depending on which radio I take on that one. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. You can always unsubscribe if you don't like my channel, but uh, I think you will. Uh, if you like anything ham, ham radio related and some off-roading, we got some of that coming here soon. And thank you for everybody, all your subscribers uh, that uh, make the comments and let me know what you think. It's, it, it means a lot. So this is Chuck, KK6USY for Ham Radio Adventures. 73 all, be safe, and catch you on the airways.